The sun warmed the cobbled streets of Kara as Layla, Aisha, and Yasmin returned home from the market, their arms full of groceries. Layla, remember that man we saw at the square last week? The one with the gleaming car? Aisha whispered, excitement bubbling in her voice. Layla raised an eyebrow, her interest peaked. Kareem? What about him? Yasmin interjected, her eyes wide. He's asked for your hand in marriage. Layla's heart skipped a beat. Kareem? The one from the affluent family? Why would he be interested in someone like me? Later that evening, the living room was a buzz with chatter. Um Layla sat with her daughters, discussing the unexpected proposal. Layla hesitated before speaking. Mama, I've heard things about his mother, Um Kareem. They say she's very controlling. Um Layla sighed, rubbing her temples. I've heard the stories too, my love. But think of the life you bleed. You'd be free from financial worries. Isn't that worth considering? But Mama, Layla protested, a life of luxury isn't everything. What if the rumors are true? What if she treats me poorly? Aisha piped up, Layla, sometimes we have to make sacrifices for the family. Think about Yasmin and me. Think about Mama. Yasmin nodded, Aisha's right. Maybe it won't be as bad as you think. Kareem seems like a decent man. Um Layla reached out, taking Layla's hands in hers. Layla, we've always struggled. Your father's passing left a void, not just in our hearts but in our lives. This could be a chance for a better future. Layla looked down, torn. But what if I'm not happy, Mama? Um Layla hesitated, searching for the right words. Happiness is important, my love. But sometimes we must think of the greater good. Meet Kareem, see if you can find a connection. If you're genuinely uncomfortable, we'll rethink our decision. A few days later, in a plush Cairo cafe, Layla met Kareem. He was tall, with dark eyes that seemed kind. As they talked, Layla tried to gauge the man before her. Why me, Kareem? She finally asked. There are so many girls out there, from families that match your status. Kareem's gaze softened. Layla, status and wealth mean nothing if there's no kindness or genuine connection. I've seen how you help others, the love you have for your family. That means more to me than any dowry. Layla was taken aback by his honesty. But your mother, the stories. He chuckled. Every family has its quirks. Yes, my mother can be overwhelming. But I promise I'll always be by your side. Layla returned home that evening, her head swirling with thoughts. Maybe this union wouldn't be so bad after all. The proposal had its ups and downs, but as the days passed, Layla found herself warming up to the idea. Perhaps, just perhaps, this was the change in destiny they had all been waiting for. The mansion was adorned with white lilies and golden drapes, reflecting the wealth and prominence of Kareem's family. Layla, dressed in a shimmering gown, looked like a princess from a fairy tale, and for a moment, it felt like she was living in one. The night of the wedding was magical, but as dawn approached, the magic started to fade. The very next day, Um Kareem made her feelings clear. While they were at breakfast, Layla reached out for a piece of bread when Um Kareem snapped, in this house, we wait to be served. Layla looked at Kareem, hoping for support, but he simply lowered his gaze, avoiding her eyes. She nodded, murmuring an apology, and retracted her hand. As the days turned into weeks, Um Kareem's behavior became even more unbearable. Every chance she got, she'd remind Layla of her humble origins. You should be grateful to be here, she'd hiss every time Layla made a minor mistake. Girls like you dream of such lives. It wasn't just the verbal jabs. Layla was expected to manage all the chores. She'd wake up at dawn, clean the vast mansion, prepare meals, and go to bed late, exhausted. Whenever she tried to employ any of the numerous servants around the house, Um Kareem would reprimand her, saying, We don't pamper girls who've grown up doing their chores. One fateful evening, as the family gathered for dinner, Um Kareem decided to humiliate Layla in front of everyone. Look at this. Even the simplest dishes are beyond her, she exclaimed, pointing at a slightly overcooked dish Layla had prepared. Layla's cheeks burned with embarrassment. She looked around the table, hoping for an ally, but found none. Even Aisha and Yasmin, who had come over for dinner, looked away, their faces a mixture of pity and discomfort. Unable to hold back her tears, Layla excused herself and rushed to her room. It wasn't long before Kareem followed. Why did you not stand up for me, Kareem? Layla cried, facing him. Why? Kareem's face was impassive. Layla, you knew what you were getting into. This is how things are in our family. But Kareem, Layla protested, I am your wife. 
How can you let your mother treat me this way? Kareem took a deep breath, his voice cold as he replied, You are in my mother's house. You are her servant, you should know your place. Layla stared at him, shock and disbelief evident on her face. Is this why you married me, Kareem? To have an additional servant for your mother. He didn't respond, simply turning his back to her and leaving the room. Layla collapsed onto the bed, the weight of her reality pressing down on her. The grand mansion, which had seemed like a dream come true, was quickly turning into a nightmare. She realized she was trapped in a gilded cage with no way out. Aunt Layla's modest home was a far cry from the opulence of Kareem's mansion, but it held warmth and comfort. Layla, with tears streaking her face, narrated her ordeal to her mother, detailing every slight, every jibe, and every humiliation. Um, Kareem keeps reminding me of our status, Mama, Layla cried. She treats me worse than a servant. And Kareem, Kareem just watches. Um, Layla's face darkened with each word, her maternal instincts warring to life. No daughter of mine will be treated this way, she said fiercely. The very next day, dressed in her finest, Um Layla went to confront Kareem and his mother. Layla wanted to accompany her, but Um Layla insisted she go alone. You've suffered enough, my child, let me handle this. As Um Layla entered the grand hallway of Kareem's home, Um Kareem looked up, her eyes showing clear displeasure. What brings you here? she asked icily. Um Layla, refusing to be intimidated, responded sharply, My daughter's well-being. What else? She tells me you've made her life a living hell. Um Kareem smirked, she's just not fit for this household. Perhaps she's more suited to the streets of Kara than a mansion. Kareem, overhearing the conversation, joined the two women. What seems to be the problem, Um Layla? Um Layla rounded on him, anger evident in her voice. You. You're the problem. You let your mother insult and humiliate my daughter, your wife. How could you? Kareem seemed taken aback but quickly regained his composure. Layla knew our family's ways, she should adapt. Um Layla was incredulous. Adapt? To being treated like a slave? No, Kareem. That's not how marriage works. Um Kareem sneered, you should have thought of that before marrying your daughter off to our family. After all, we are of a different class. Feeling the weight of the accusation, um Layla stood tall. My lineage may not be as prestigious as yours, but I've raised my daughters with love, respect, and dignity. Something you seem to know nothing about. Kareem's face contorted in rage. How dare you insult my family in our own home? If Layla is so unhappy, then maybe she shouldn't be a part of this family. Um Layla, seeing where this was going, took a deep breath. Are you suggesting you divorce her? Kareem, blinded by anger and his mother's influence, shot back, Maybe I should. Um Layla, with a heavy heart, gave him a stern look. Very well. But remember, Kareem, wealth may buy you luxury, but it won't buy you honor or respect. You've lost a gem today. And with that, she left, her heart heavy but her head held high. The news of the divorce spread like wildfire in their community. People whispered, some in sympathy, others in gossip, but the damage was done. Less than two months into a marriage that was supposed to be her fairy tale, Layla found herself back in her childhood home, nursing a broken heart. The moonlight bathed the courtyard, casting a serene glow on the surroundings. Layla sat cross-legged, gazing up at the vast expanse of the star-studded sky, lost in thought. Um Layla approached with a tray, placing a cup of tea beside her daughter. You're up late, she remarked, sitting next to her. Layla sighed, I can't help but think, Mama. Did I do something wrong? Was I not good enough for them? Um Layla wrapped an arm around Layla, pulling her close. My child, you were too good for them. Their hearts were just too small to see it. They sat in silence for a few moments, sipping their tea and soaking in the peaceful night sounds. You know Layla, um Layla started, life has a way of throwing challenges at us. But with every challenge comes an opportunity, remember that. Layla rested her head on her mother's shoulder, it just hurts mama. Um Layla looked deep into Layla's eyes. God has a plan for everyone. He will compensate you with a better husband than Kareem. One who sees your worth, cherishes your heart, and values your love. A tear escaped Layla's eye, I just wish it didn't have to hurt so much. Um Layla kissed her forehead. The pain makes us stronger, my love, you'll see. Months turned into years, and Layla became more involved in her community, helping those in need and becoming an emblem of strength and resilience. Stories of her kindness spread, and she was admired by many. 
Yet, she guarded her heart, hesitant to give it away again. One day, at a community event, Layla's path crossed with that of Sami, a soft-spoken man with kind eyes and a genuine smile. He had recently moved to Cairo and was looking to make a difference in the community. Their shared passion for helping others brought them close, and they found themselves spending more time together. Their conversations were deep, filled with dreams, aspirations, and shared values. One evening, as they walked alongside the Nile, Sami hesitated before speaking, Layla, I've heard about your past, about what you've been through. Layla looked away, the painful memories resurfacing. Yes, it's a part of me. Sami gently lifted her chin, his gaze unwavering, but it doesn't define you. I see you for who you are, a strong, compassionate, and beautiful soul. Layla smiled, her heart warming to his words. Thank you, Sami. He took a deep breath. I won't pretend to understand the depth of your pain, Layla. But I promise, if you allow me, I'll spend my lifetime trying to make you happy. Layla felt a tear roll down, but this time, it was one of happiness. I'd like that, she whispered. Their union was celebrated with joy, surrounded by those who genuinely cared for them. As Um Layla watched her daughter begin her new journey, she felt a peace she hadn't felt in a long time. Um Layla's wisdom proved true. Sometimes, trials in life lead to better paths. And that one's lineage or background should never be a measure of their worth. Layla's journey was a testament to that, a beacon of hope for all those who had faced adversity.